Hey, okay, students, so on this clip, we're going to be going over uh, five examples on how to solve logarithmic um, inequalities. All right, so let's go ahead and write down the instruction for the notes. Um, solve the following, the following uh, inequalities. All right, so the first question we have is uh, log base 3 of x is less than 4, okay? Now, uh, to solve this is as though we're solving a logarithmic equation, okay? The same procedure. The base is 3, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to exponentiate both sizes in 3 as a base. So put a big 3 on the right and a big 3 on the left, okay? So both sides get exponentiated, so we have a little log base 3 of x is less than a little 4. Okay, so these two are inverses, so they uh, cancel each other out. So we're going to have x is less than 3 to the 4th power. Okay, and we know that 3 to the 4th power um, is 81. So x is less than 81 is your final result. All right. Now let's move on to question number 2. So for question 2, we have... Um, log base 4 of x is greater than or equal to 5. Alright, so it's very similar to this. We just identify what the base is. So the base is 4. We're going to exponentiate both sizes in 4 as the basis. So put a big 4 on the left, a big 4 on the right. And then this I guess exponentiated. We have a little log base 4 of x is greater than or equal to a little 5. On the left side, uh, these are inverse operations, exponent and log. So we have uh, x is greater than or equal to 4 to the 5th power. You can work that out uh, with our calculators. 4 raised to the 5th power, and that's 1024. So our final answer is x is greater than or equal to 1024. All right. Now let's move along to question number three. So for question three, we have um, the, the inequality of uh, log base 16 of x uh, is greater than 3 over 2. Okay. All right. So to solve this, uh, the base here is 16. So we're going to follow the same procedure. I'll uh, put big 16 on both sides. A big 16 and a big 16. We're exponentiating both sides using 16 as the base. So we have log base 16 of x is greater than 16 to the 3 halves. Okay. On the left side, we have the inverse relationship of logarithms. All the levels this exponent and a logarithm to cancel out. So we have x is greater than 16 to the 30 second, to 3 over 2 power, 3 halves power. All right, now we're going to use the rational exponents property of, um, of exponents, the rational powers property of exponents to simplify this. So this becomes x is greater than the square root of 16 raised to the third power. Okay. All right, so we have x is greater than. I'll just remember that the numerator is, is the power and the denominator is the root. Okay, all right, let's do the root for the square root of 16 is 4. So we have x is greater than 4 to the third power. Uh, 4 to the third power is 64. So x uh, is greater than 64 is our final result. All right. Now let's all work on problems that are slightly more complicated. Uh, question 4. What if we have the logarithmic inequality, log base 2? Uh, of x plus 3 is greater than log base 2 of x minus 2. Okay, so this for this one the basis of exponentiation is 2, so I'm going to put big 2 on both sides, and then I'm going to have a little log base 2 of x plus 3 uh, is greater than a little log base 2 of x minus 2. Okay. On the left side, the two and the logarithms cancel out. So we'll have x plus 3. It's greater than, same 3 here, the log and the 
exponent cancel out is greater than x minus 2. Okay? Alright. Oh, actually, there is a 2 right here. I forgot to put that. Let's put that in. Okay, so it's 2x plus 3. Right, so let's go ahead and finish this off. So, uh, to finish this problem off, we just subtract x from both sides. So, we'll subtract x from both sides. We'll have uh, x plus 3 is greater than negative 2. And then we subtract 3 from both sides. And then we have x is greater than negative 5. Okay? Alright, so this is one piece of our solution. So remember that logarithmic arguments must be positive. So another condition is that um, we also have to, they also have, the, the solution also has to satisfy the inequalities 2x plus 3 greater than 0 and x minus 2 greater than 0. Okay? Alright, to solve this, we subtract 3 from both sides. So we have 2x is greater than negative 3, divide both sides by 2, and then we have x is greater than negative 3 over 2, and then in this case we just add 2 to both sides, and then for this one x is greater than 2, okay? So when we take the intersection of these three inequalities, that will be our solution, alright? So what's the easiest way to do that? We can just make uh, take advantage of uh, a number line graphing using the number line, and then the intersection, it will be easy for us to decipher what the intersection is, okay? So, the first one is, so let's call this 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is negative 5. Negative 3 over 2 is the same thing as negative 1 half, so negative 1. So, this is negative 1 and a half. So, the center point here is negative 3 over 2. And then this is 1, this is 1, and this is 2, okay? So the first one is uh, x is greater than negative 5. So that goes the first line. And then the second one is x is greater than negative 3 over 2. So that is the second one. And then the last one, not the least, is x is greater than 2. So, uh... We have this one right here. So when we intersect all three, that will be our solution. So the intersection graphically is where they all overlap. So where do they all overlap? This is the overlap of all three inequalities. So when they all overlap, we end up with this inequality right here. Open circle, going all the way to the right. Okay, so this is the intersection of all three, so that's going to be what our solution is going to be. All right, the intersection of this, this, and this is this inequality right here, which is x is greater than two. All right, so our solution um, basically is uh, x. Oh, wait, let's change this. The intersection of all three, so x greater than negative five intersecting with x greater than negative 3 over 2, intersecting with x greater than 2. So if you intersect all of them, your final answer will be x greater than 2 based on the graph that we just generated here. So this is your final answer. Alright, let's try another uh, example similar to this. Um, question number 5. So we have log base 5 of x plus 2 is greater than log base 5 of 5x plus 1. Okay, this is log base 5, so we're going to put the 5 on both sides. That's when we shade both sides of the 5 as the base, so we have log base 5 of x plus 2 is greater than log base 5 of 5x plus 1. Okay? So on the left side, these two cancel out. On the right side, these two cancel out. So we have x plus 2 is greater than 5x plus 1. Alright? So what we'll do is we'll subtract uh, to get x isolated. we we'll subtract 5x from both sides. So that will leave me with negative uh, 4x plus 2 is greater than 1. So 
to subtract 2 from both sides. And then we'll have negative 4x is greater than negative 1. Divide both sides by negative 4. Uh, and then you're going to have uh, x. Don't forget to switch the inequality is less than 1 over 4. Okay? Alright, so uh, since this is a logarithmic function and we know that the logs does not take negative arguments, so it also has to satisfy two other inequalities, which is x plus 2 greater than 0, and it also has to satisfy the inequality x plus 1 greater than 0, okay, because the domain of logarithms is uh, positive, is, zero, is greater than 0, okay? Alright, so to solve this, I subtract 2 from both sides, I'll have x is greater than negative 2. And then for this one, I'll subtract 1. 5x is greater than negative 1. Divide by 5, both sides. And it will have x is uh, greater than negative 1 over 5. Okay? So the intersection of these three will give us what, what the solution uh, is, the solution uh, region. So we can take advantage of the number line to see what our answers are. So for this one, um, Let's see, so this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, well, let's just make it 1, 2, one, two that's 1, 2, so well, let's make it, let's go with a little bit bigger so that uh, it, it fits nicely, okay, so let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, as negative 1, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, as negative 2. Alright, so let's grab the first one. x is less than 1, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 1. So a quarter will be somewhere 1, 2, 3, 4. This would be a quarter right here. 1 quarter, 2 quarter, 3 quarter, 4 quarter. So this would be a quarter. So open circle. Since it's less than, uh, it's going to go to the left. And then the next one is x is greater than negative 2. So this would be an open circle. This is greater is going to be taken up to the right. Okay. And then the other one is x is greater than negative 1 fifth. So negative 1 fifth is a little bit less than a quarter. So somewhere here, negative 1 fifth. So this is mark it so don't get confused this is a quarter one fourth this right here is negative one fifth so we're gonna go from somewhere here and take off to the right okay like this all right so where these where these three graphs intersect that's what our solution region will be okay so you can easily see that they intersect where these three overlap is right from here all the way to here so we have here to here, that's the overlap. Okay, let me project it on the x-axis. So negative one-fifth all the way to a quarter, excluding those two endpoints. Okay, since this is excluded and that's and that's um excluded also. So our intersection is going to be so let's write it using uh set intersection notation. So the solution is basically x less than one fourth intersecting with x greater than negative two intersecting with x greater than negative one fifth. So you intersect all these three inequalities, you're going to end up with negative one over five as less than x, and x is less than one over four. Okay, this is inequality. Or using set builder notation is the same thing as parentheses negative one fifth, all the way to positive one fourth, and there goes your solution. All right, so, so th there you have it. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Feel free to subscribe uh, to my channel by clicking up here. Um, more videos can be found on myplayerself.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.